Welcome to a new video. Today, we'll talk about how innovation and technology has been incorporated in the shipping industry and how is it helping in enhancing trade and efficiency in ships. With that, we first come to a digital twin. Just like the name suggests, a digital twin of a ship is another digitally simulated ship identical to its former. A digital twin of a ship aims to improve the safety and efficiency of ships via advanced data analysis technology based on real-time remote monitoring and digital information on the physical and electrical state of the ship. The technology of a digital twin not only refers to ships but also other automobiles. However, in the marine industry, it refers to ships and also the digitally simulated cranes operated in ports and so on. A digital twin aims at zero loss of cargo, zero loss of time, zero unnecessary carbon dioxide emissions and zero safety incidents. The second one is route forecasting. A ship can choose the shortest route and still consume a lot of fuel, whereas another ship can choose a longer route and consume less of fuel. Fuel efficiency not only depends on the distance to be covered but the factors throughout the journey such as tides, winds, ocean current, wave frequency, and so on. With increasing technology and advancements, weather routing is done by collection of oceanographical and meteorological data, and data received from weather satellites and good forecasting techniques. The third one is AI-enhanced crane operations. Once a ship has covered its route and reached a port, it's prepared for a new journey after loading or unloading it. Traditionally used manual cranes at ports can require considerable operation time and are susceptible to human error, which can result in damage to equipment, off-right accidents and delays. Human error can also result in mistakes being made, such as the movement of the wrong container. This will all in turn affect the supply chain. On the other hand, Automated Robot Cranes ARC, uses artificial intelligence technology and can perform tasks autonomously or be controlled remotely by humans. ARC have object detection capabilities as well which enable them to identify workers or objects nearby in order to avoid collisions, accidents and delays during operations. The fourth one is fuel optimization. There have been many innovative ways and technologies to incorporate fuel saving and lower emissions such as air lubrication in which a carpet of air bubble is formed on the ship's hull to reduce friction between the hull and the water, hence lowering the carbon dioxide emissions by up to 10 to 15%. Few other methods include fuel saving propeller attachment like the hyphen, onboard DC grid system, low loss hybrid energy system, and last but not the least, modifying the ship's bulbous bow, popularly known as the nose job of a ship. The fifth one is hull monitoring robots. Ships develop a biofilm and coating of seagrass, barnacles, marine creatures, and other form of biological contamination on its hull over time. This buildup of layer on the hull is termed as hull fouling and causes huge resistance and friction between a ship and the water below and hence it significantly increases fuel consumption by around 30% if not maintained. Nowadays robotics have also entered the hull maintenance and monitoring operations during dry docking and underwater cleaning as well including rotary brushes, high pressure and cavitation, water jet technology, ultrasonic technology and laser cleaning technology. The use of robotics incorporates efficient maintenance by optimizing work process, which otherwise could damage the ship's hull by human error. So we can see that numerous innovative ways and technologies are being worked upon and they are all being used on newer ships or retrofitted to existing ships and all these measures are significantly leading to a greener shipping industry. With that, we come to an end of this video. See you in the next one.